But basically, so today we're talking about table decorations and centerpieces. So to start off, we're doing these jar Christmas centerpieces okay. and their table decorations. So basically, you get a basic jar. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the design, if there's any design on it, is at the back. Right. So you're simply going to put these little trees. You can get these on the internet. They're little bottle brush trees. Very cute, like this. So basically, what you're going to do is glue it in to the lid of the jar. Uh -huh. Make sure it's really glued in properly so it doesn't fall out when you tip it upside down. Put some glitter on it, if you like. Okay. And, um, and then we're going to fill the jar with basically this fake snow. Now, my advice is to go for the fake snow that's like this is already made rather than the stuff that you can add water to. Because if you want to keep these decorations for years to come, the problem with the water-based ones is that they actually evaporate. Oh, and when I you see. get your decorations out of the loft next year, it's completely it's gone, gone, it's ruined. Oh, okay. So you can get these for a bag of like, one pound. Okay, fine. So you fill it, fill it up. I would go less is more. Now we're gonna screw it on. And then you go. Oh, it's like a snow globe. And then you tap it into position. Could you put water in there and make a snow globe? You could do. That is another thing you can do as well. But it's a bit more messy, so okay. it's up to you. But you you'd give have it a to tap. Your glue as well, wouldn't you? You'd have to have water. Yeah, glue. exactly. Just give it a tap, and there we have it. So we've got other variations here. So Aww. I've done. If you want to finish it off nicely, put some string and an embellishment round um, the the top of it, or you can do little salt and pepper shakers. Um, a large one as well, with a little character in there as well. And also, what we've done... Okay, see, I'm, I know what you're going to say next. Now, you know what I'm like for crafty stuff. Yeah, um, yes, I know. I think they, that's a really fun idea. I like the candle over yeah. the wine glass. Yes. I you, think that's a good idea. Because it involves a wine glass yes. you're now in. <laughs> well, not, nothing should ever <laughs> involve an empty wine glass, but, uh, but I, think that's, yeah, so that's, I think that's actually really quite that's a That's my favourite. So what I had to do for that was actually draw circles in cardboard so it's a similar sort of idea as the lid and you're basically going to stick your tree and the characters onto the lid oh, see, okay. fill it up and then you tip it up again but you have to Quite make you. sure that the cardboard fits mm. perfectly round so you draw around the glass first yes to make sure and then it won't any sort of snow won't get anywhere because oh, well basically. the trouble is also it's one of those things you've got to make sure that's sort of fairly stable in the center yes, of the table it is a little bit, will all fall over exactly it's a little bit rickety if you want i've actually glued those down just to make sure they're a bit more secure, but yeah. really effective and really pretty. And really you can reuse them pretty. again, make sure you wash them properly. Yeah, It'd be a no, nightmare okay. getting that wax off the glass, though, isn't it? Yeah, just peel it off, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so next up, we have this really cute little pine cone here, which, again, is a really simple idea for just table decorations, or the kids can do this, um, or you can have them as place names. Oh, so nice. basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take your pine cone and you're just going to paint the edges of the pine cone. Now, don't worry too much about trying to be too careful where it goes. It naturally falls where you need it to go. And then you're going to stick a cork on the bottom. So I've cut this cork in half because it was quite tall. And you get these from craft shops or wine. <laughs> or your wine. <laughs> or round to Phil's house. <laughs> yeah. A craft shop for a I cork. I don't drink a lot of wine. So. <laughs> and then you're literally just going to sprinkle it with glitter and then put a little star on the top. Now, again, if you want to add a tag, nice tag for Philip there, you can just place it on like can that. Can I just make a suggestion, actually? Yeah. Wouldn't these look really nice if you got your corks from your actual bottle, put that on there and then put them back in as yes. little stoppers See? over Christmas? Exactly. <gasps> perfect. Nice idea. <laughs> nice idea. That's yeah, that's a, a really... perfect idea, actually. It's great. You can do it for gifts as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. Sweet. So another idea for the place names is if you can see over on the corner there, it's called Driving Home for Christmas Table Decoration. Ah. Now, the little one ah. is actually what I've done. I've mounted it on some wood and then etched out a heart with a craft knife and then written in the name. And it's just a little car with a little tree on top. That's and I think so it's really effective. Cute. And then we've got the beetle next to it, which is just a toy car, which I think it's really effective. You can put those on mantelpieces or on your table, anything like That's that. That's a health and safety nightmare. That's an unsecure <laughs> load, that is. Well, well, yes, but you know. <laughs> That's right. So, last but not least, we have this here, which is another centerpiece idea. Now, this is untraditional. So, if you're not really into that traditional look of the reds and golds, and you like a bit of rustic, I think you might like this one. It's oh, kind of a rustic, that. sort of white. The only problem with this is in the middle of the table. I can't see everyone through it. Yeah, well, you could have smaller ones. I might ones. have to put it on the end. Or you could have, yeah, you could have them raised up yeah. and things. So basically yeah. all it is is a brown paper bag. And as you can see here, what I've done, I've roughly painted the paint on. Make sure that it looks rough. I know it sounds silly, but you have to make sure you don't go too neat. Yeah. Otherwise it doesn't have the effect. And then basically what you're going to do, you get a round tip paintbrush and you're just going to just dab circles all over it like this. And then it makes the snow. 
and then you get two floristry foam blocks. Make sure they're artificial. Stick them together and then you start sticking your foliage in. Before you put it in the bag? Well, you can either put, do it before or after. I have actually did it when it was in, personally, because it actually then made the bag a bit stiffer. OK. And then you just add your stars on the top. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What have I done? What have I done? Nothing. Nothing you've done. You what you had done? Me. What have I done? No, you had me until the bag of twigs. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't like this one. <laughs> I was there. I said it was, was untraditional. There. You just blew it at the end. <laughs> it's a bag of twigs. Well, oh, it's a very pretty bag. It's of a twigs. very. It's a. It's a. Oh, I have to say, it's more of a female thing, is it? It's, a festive, it's sure. a festive bag of twigs. It's See, a... that to me is a very grand fire lighter. <laughs> <laughs> well, double uses for everything. No, I, no. I, I, I get it. I get it. But I do. I do think that you m might need. You could do smaller bags. Could yeah, you? exactly. I mean, I did a big table. bag, but I would use. Do smaller bags and space them out. That's the whole point. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Thank Almost you got you. <laughs> Nearly. I was there. You I was did there. well to have him with the you other one. Wine glasses and cars. <laughs> uh, um, of course okay, I'm, 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 I'm writing this down. I'm writing <laughs> yeah. down for the future. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. That's all right. Merry Christmas.